Hi, my name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And today I am here to talk about Ring Shout by P. Jelly Clark. I first r read something by P. Jelly Clark a year ago, a little, a little over a year ago, and that was The Hunting of Tram Car 015, and I fell in love with his writing read his other gin story that I'm forgetting the name of that came before the Black God's Drums and so I knew when this came out I wanted to read it. This actually came out in October of 2020 and I didn't get a chance to read it until now due to school. He has still delivered. I think some of the strengths that Clark has is his writing and his characters and he writes really good female characters which is rare for a male writer. So Ring Shout follows, I think her name is Marcy Beaudreau. I In my head I've been saying Marcy. I could have completely butchered that. And if I did and somebody knows the correct pronunciation, feel free to correct me down below. But we're following Marcy Beaudreau, who is a monster hunter. And what she hunts is Ku Kluxes. These are clan members who have given in to so much hate that they have turned into monsters. And as this is a novella, so it's pretty short, I'm going to try to do this spoiler free. So Marcy's crew is three women. It's Marcy, who has a magical sword. Sadie, who has Winnie, her rifle, win, her Winchester rifle. And Chef, who is a demoli demolitions expert. And these three women work together to kill the Ku Kluxes the monsters that have been created through hate. And this book takes place in 1922, Macon, Georgia. Again, I really enjoy his writing style. I love his female characters. I think this book had some really great intrigue. There were things that I thought was going to go a certain way, and then it didn't. And especially at the end, in the big climatic scene where even Marcy is like, oh, this is what I think. And then the bad guy is like, no, that that's not the offer that we were going to offer you. Even I was like, wait, what? So I think he did that really, really well. So I think something that Clark did in this book that is different from the other ones that I have read is this book has a very, very strong central theme, and that is not to be overcome by hate. Don't let hate absorb, or don't let yourself be absorbed by hate, and so you turn into a monster. And I think this is something everybody should pick up and read. If you haven't read Clark yet, you need to read Clark. And if you have read this book, please comment down below and let me know what you thought of it. Thank you and have a good day.